Hello there. Um, so it's cross country uh, flight vlog. So not in the normal place. I'm actually in my room at my house in uh, Southern Lincoln. But um, there's a few things that we need to do before we have to take cross country, and that is doing a nav vlog. Um, Sam taught me how to do this um, a few weeks ago during the cross country uh, ground, which I was not going to film that and bore you guys with because it was two hours of really boringness. But I'll give you guys a crash course. So let's look, take a look. Okay. So, what we're looking at here is K on K to K um, CBF, which is uh, um, was Kelsa Bluffs, which is that dot right there, all next to the uh, that's Epley and Offit, which are the Clash Charlies. So, we're going to be flying there and doing waypoints. You can, I'm not sure if you see that line, but there's a really thin line up through there. And we're picking up waypoints to fill out that which is the nav log. So basically I can't do most of it because I need all the current winds and stuff. So I'll be getting up at six to finish this. But for right now, I'm just gonna put the legs in, the distances and stuff like that, stuff I can't put in. And then tomorrow morning we'll get up and fill in the rest. See you guys then and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Now we're good. Oops. I was flustered. Why? I don't know. Sometimes you're like, are you sure? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like most of the time, I'll be pretty sure. And then and now I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> what are we going to uh, altitude-wise on the way there? Um, I guess 3,500 now. Because... We were supposed to be at or below 4,000, but if we had an alt altitude plus 500, right? At or below 4,000 until we get out of here. Oh, so 55. Right. Every time he tells us at or below 4,000. Oh, that's true. You're right. And then we switch over to departure. If you have your discretion, uh, own navigation, direct, cancel bluffs. You're like, sweet, I can do whatever I want. You're right. This is why you're the instructor and I'm the student. I think there's multiple reasons. I think there's well, several. <laughs> Power at a thousand. Cool, cool. We're just gonna hold the brakes, passenger seats, backs upright, yours upright. Seat both secure, yours is secure. Cabin doors are locked, yours is locked. Flight control screen clicks to the left, right. Alright, we're good. Trim is set. Well, instruments check, zero on the horizon, it's in 75 feet, wings level. That's just a little off. That's probably better. That's stable, we're at a thousand. Move your mic, there you go. <laughs> um, just trying to. Uh, fuel quantity is good, we have 15 other, 18, I mean 22 in the other, 18 in the other. Yep. Fuel selector valves on both. Um, shut off those in. We'll wrench in the mixture and do check the max. Power 18. Alright, we'll check the right first. That was a good drop. Pressure's in the green still. Back to boat. Back up. Left. Everything's still good. Check that out. Sweet, we're good. Okay. Friction lock is set. Strobe lights on. Radio. Okay, nine three eight. Well, uh, correction nine three eight. Alpha Mike. Uh, Lincoln clear. Switch tower down. Maintain four thousand. Expect flight level two zero zero. Ten minutes after. And Depart switch is one two four point zero. Block two six four six. Cool. Now we're good. Clear to McCook is filed. Maintain four thousand. Elevator trim is set for takeoff. Wing flaps uh, are zero. zero. And we'll be break. So tar briefing. We're we'll be doing a normal takeoff. Rotating at fifty five. Climbing out of seventy nine. Correct. 
Um, an event of an engine out on takeoff roll will just uh, cut the throttle and probably heavy brakes, get ourselves to stop. Um, if we get off the ground with a sufficient runway remaining, we'll cut the shutoff valve, cut the mixture, cut the throttle, uh, turn the max off in the master, and put it back down on the runway. If uh, we don't have sufficient runway remaining, we'll do all the same, leave the master on, use flaps as needed, and look somewhere uh, 30 degrees in front of us, pitching for 65 right away. Cool. I believe that's it. All right, you ready to go? Yep. Tower 137, uniform holding short 35 at Alpha, ready for departure. Uh, 137, uniform Lincoln Tower, good afternoon, runway 35, wind 3308, turn right, heading 030, cleared for takeoff. Severance Uniform, contact Omaha Departure. Have a good one. Over to Departure, Severance Uniform, thanks. Severance Uniform, departure radar, contact altitude, your discretion, no nav. Out to our discretion on navigation, Okay, take us to Council Bluffs. Use your nav log, use your map. Okay. So we're supposed to get ourselves on heading at 6 3 first. What are we looking for? What's our first point? Radar, so Too big to big out. No. First point is stacks. Two Delta Mike approach, descending oh, the very discretion turns 40 degrees right, expect 3 5. 4,020 right, Two Delta Mike. Okay, should these. Should these stacks be to our left or right? They are to our right. Okay. What do they look like? Stacks. <laughs> Should have Googled Earth this before I left. Yeah, you can use the uh, street view on ForeFlight, and it'll show you, like, uh, the, basically the Google Maps. They you should zoom be. in, and you could be like, big white building. Nice. Or you could be like, black roof building. Like there should be right there. a nice big tower right there somewhere. Yeah, use other stuff too, right? Yeah. I should have used my school. Is there a big tower over there? Oh, 819 no, approach, there's 2999. 2999. I see a couple of, like, 200-foot towers. Oh, that's the one right there. 06 Charlie approach, there's 2999. This is, like, Kind of having fun. 2999. Well, I know I'm doing bad at the same time. You're not doing bad. Your first point was just funny. I said, what's our first point? And you said, stacks. We picked that point out together. <laughs> I know, but I didn't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's your fault too. My fault, my fault. But we're over Waverly. I think we can easily, um, kinda. Well, we're kind of at our top of climb. Yeah. But I did a good job on that one. Yeah, you did. Thanks. Okay, so far so good. I don't even know where we should descend now. So turn mic radar contact position reported. You want the Where are we supposed to descend? Over Papillion. Roger. Which is over there. Do you see Council Bluffs? Roger. I don't, do you? No. Take that 625, tower 132.1. Uh, I'm just looking for a clear off it. That's Evely, isn't it? Okay, 19 Roger, maintain visual separation from them. Caution, wake turbulence, it'll be in the descent. Which means, if that's Evely, off it's over here. Scott 5331, traffic north factor, turn 10 degrees right, descend immediately. It's on this side down. of the river, ain't it? I don't know, you tell me where we're at. 6 Victor, uniform altitude, your description. I'll tell you that we're west. Side. West of Omaha, there's Evely. Okay. And then Bluff should be like... Over here somewhere. Omaha, Ground up, seven, nine, longer, five, plus one. Seven, one, zero. Cessna, uh, four, one, zero, approach, out to me, there's two, nine, nine, nine. Two, nine, nine, nine. 
Dallas 
Alright, flash full. Like the size of the airplane. Castle Plus, Charlie Charlie Mike, departing 36, be a left closed into the VFR pattern 32. Castle Plus. Aerodynamic braking. Council traffic 724 is clear of the active taxiing to runway 32, Council Bus. Council Bus traffic, Skyhawk 36 Romeo is clear of 36, Council Bus. Plus traffic, uh, 137 is form, uh, crossing runway 36. Council plus traffic, Skyhawk 36 Romeo is clear of the right, final square. Plus. Untowered airport communications. Need to work on it. Yep. Make yeah. a call that we're going to line up and wait, runway 32. Okay. Council of traffic, 137, form lining up and waiting on runway 32. Council of traffic, 17, Charlie Mike is uh, exiting and sent to the apron. So field 3 miles via 45, left down 135. Right up. Can we take off? Yeah, just say we're departing runway 32. Council of traffic, 137, form uh, departing runway 32. Alright, you ready, boss? Oh, I'm ready. Alright, me too. Three, two, three, two, three, two. Let's get out of the Iowa's. No. Alright, pressure's in the green. Airspeed's alive. Nice little bomb rotate. Lincoln Tower, runway 35, clear to land. You'll be number two following a King Air that's currently five miles east of the field. Wind 330 at 11. Clear runway 35, following King Air, we'll be looking at 71. Up if we're like right in the pattern. Yeah, I think that's how you should normally do it. Yep. That's exactly how you should do it entering a right base. I was just proud of myself that I did it. Yeah, that was very well done.
I feel low. Oh yeah. Lap 30. Oh, I think I did it. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Okay, so, first cross country flight. Sam says it wasn't that bad. I think I did bad, but he's gonna tell me what I did bad and what I did good. So, uh, we'll talk about that, and then, uh, yeah. See you now. All right, so we took off out of here. Um, kind of got a little off our course right from away. the get-go. Um, so just make sure you have some good points picked out. Um, yeah. some, some better than stack. Yeah. Um, you know, a stack of hot wood. Um, so we'll just make sure you have those picked out like I was talking about. You can use like the street view on four flight. Um, that'll help you kind of get a better picture. Um, and then basically the whole way there was a vector yeah. from approach. So we didn't really get to follow the nav like too much, but on our next one we will. Um, Where's the next one going to be? Probably Columbus. What is that going to be? Um, pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty soon. And then we'll probably do Council Bluffs again together. Just so you feel comfortable doing it. Um, or we can do like the, the triangle one together. Uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll be fine. Um, I'm back to like the whole way there as we got closer. Um, good job using the map and actually finding the place, not resorting to GPS. Yeah. Um, good job actually using this thing. It, it paid off. Yeah. Um, we got in, there's like three of the planes coming in at an untowered airport. Um, things can get a little hectic at times, but I think we did a good job of managing it. Pretty good. Um, then a really good landing, yep. Taxi clear, pull up your taxi diagram so you can see where you're at. Yeah, um, yep, use that. Um, pull up that taxi diagram so you can see, okay, I need to cross runway 36 here to get to runway 32. Yeah. We were kind of confused there for a second on what to do. But, I think um, I got confused that 36 was here too. Yeah, and then everything kind of spiraled. Yeah. Um, that's what happens. Um, so it's just staying ahead of the plane. Yeah. Pull up that taxi diagram when we get clear. The taxi and we're following that thing. Um, we'll make it easy. CTAF communications. CTAF communications. We'll get flying in there Seward a couple of times too before you go on any solo stuff. Um, so you can get used to that a little bit more. It wasn't too bad though. I was helping you out a little bit because there was, you know, you were looking for the airport. Um, took off. Out of there. Um, called approach. And then use, use GPS going back. Much easier. It was a straight line. Good job on your descent coming back into here. You had a nice, smooth descent the whole time. Uh, the whole time. Um, and then good job on landing coming back in here as well. Um, once you get clear of that active runway, we can switch over to ground. Okay. If they don't call us. If they don't say anything. Um, yeah, other than that, good flight.